Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Garba Experiment. New game for you guys, Snow Runner. So I played a little bit of Mud Runner back when it was on the Game Pass, where well it still is on the Game Pass. Um, I did enjoy that one, but we've got Snow Runner now, so we're going to jump in and see what this is all about. Alright then, welcome to Michigan. Thank you for joining our recovery and maintenance effort after the devastating flood. We need all help available to repair the bridge that collapsed. It's our only link to the other side of the river. Okay. First, you'll need to find a watchtower to get a view of your surroundings. Then you'll need to find a truck capable of transporting the materials needed to repair the bridge. After the bridge is repaired, you'll be able to reach your f first garage. Okay. So jumping straight in there then. Let's start the engine, take the handbrake off. Whoa, going sideways already. All right then, first move should always be to scout new areas. Okay, so we've got a watchtower. Oh, okay, we've got a watchtower up here, but I wanna go to this one. Okay. How do we get up there then? Is it up that way? Your tracked objective always shows up here. Let's go find that watchtower. That's way in the distance. But yeah, first, I think we'll go to this one first. It's on the way. Let's see if we can get up there. It looks to be just up in those trees there, so it's not too far. We have got all wheel drive on this truck, which is good. Let's chuck it in low. I'm driving around rough terrain you can switch to low gear oh I didn't read that quickly the truck is all-wheel drive capable the all-wheel drive will also help in tough terrain god you gotta read these quick maybe this keep it in auto uh, with all-wheel drive that should work a bit better right then now did I need to go up there I think I did yeah Right then, then let's back up a second. Although, am I going to be able to make it through this? Let's try them. See if we can make it up this hill, because there was a better track slightly further up. Oh, <laughs> it was stuck already. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh no, it's just making it worse. Right. Um, select winch point. Need to the uh, uh what? No, I don't want to winch onto that. Oh. <laughs> I just broke that straight away. Um, right. How do I select that winch point over there? Ah, there we go. There we go. Right. So... We shall reverse and pull the winch at the same time. There we go. Right. Okay, well maybe leave that one now then for a moment. Seeing as we got stuck straight away. We'll go to the one it wants us to. I was trying to be uh, a bit better uh, getting that one first. It was, it was on the way, but maybe though we can't make it there yet with the truck that we have. So we uh, get to this watchtower and uh, discover what the terrain looks like. Okay, so that's not good. Reading terrain, you'll encounter different kinds of terrain such as road, dirt, mud, deep mud, water, rock slides, snow and ice. Only the most experienced drivers with well-equipped vehicles can drive on any kind of terrain. When in doubt, there is no shame in avoiding danger. 
Okay. So, we've got to take this detour then. Let's chuck all wheel drive on, I think. See if we can make it through the detour, all right? Seems like a pretty deep river over there. Oh, well, that was quite deep as well. Whoa, slippery. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's back over there. Did I just drive past it? No, I didn't. So we can take that road there. Um, how do we... Oh, add destination point. Oh, that's going to work a bit better. Can I move it? So, that should get us to the watchtower. Okay, let's give that a go. It's only just here, so we're all right. Got a petrol station. Just in case we need more fuel, we're all right at the moment. Still got 73 liters. Avoid that. There we go. Okay. Not good. Damaged the vehicle quite a lot already. There we go. First watchtower. Nice. Wow, this. We need to upgrade this truck already. It's all over the place. Got all wheel drive on, but it just seems to be sliding already. Nice, good job, you discovered your first watchtower. Discovering watchtowers will reveal parts of the map. To repair the bridge, you will need a bigger vehicle to tr transport the materials. Open your map, look for s at your surroundings. Find a truck capable of transporting the materials. Repair the bridge, okay. Nice. Okay, so we've got a massive river down there. I don't think we'll be able to get across. Right then. So there looks to be the truck. Press a string to open the new. Okay. So yeah. So we need to go. What do we need to go here for? find a truck so there's a truck there's a trailer there as well sideboard trailer oh I didn't mean to do that so it looks like we're heading down here if I can get this right then up the road into our truck so let's give that a go shall we and see what sort of truck it is we're going to find. And we have made it to the truck. Just got to get up this hill. Come on, old car, you can do this. Little pickup truck. Nice. Oh, that's a big, uh, big truck, that. You find the first highway truck. This truck is designed for roads, so there are no off-road options included. Try not to fall into the swamp or drive into a deep mud with it. Okay. Um, change truck. Nice. Doesn't even have all-wheel drive though either. It's not the best truck for the job, but I have to do. The company still with a township is waiting for you. Prepare the bridge. You'll find contracts like this one on the map. Okay then. What have we got to do? Old bridge construction. Deliver up to old bridge. Metal planks and wooden planks. So we get the metal planks in there, and the wooden planks in there. Do we get the trailer? Grab the wood planks. 
head to town, grab the metal planks, and then head to the bridge. Oh. Okay. Nice. Right then, let's see if we can do that. Cool. We're now ready to repair the bridge. The truck has enough space for cargo. Every truck body or trailer has different cargo capacity measured in slots. This truck is capable able to carry uh, to transport two slots of cargo. All right, handbrake off, and let's go. Yeah, I think. Whilst we're here, we might as well grab the lumber, because we've got to get the lumber anyway. It's just a case of... Whoa. Yeah, they did say it was only made for the road, so... Let's... Oh, it looks like that trailer's already loaded up. So we're back up to that and hitch on. if we can. Look at that mud. And it's starting to rain now as well. Alright, there's uh Yeah, okay. I'm trying to avoid getting stuck. That's it. There we go. Um, attach trailer. Nice! So that's the lumber already loaded up, ready to go. So now let's just head to the town. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Stick her in low quickly. Come on. Wiggle my way out. Let's try and um, touch winch. No. Come on then. That's it. There we go. Nice. Release the winch and away we go. Right then. Let's get on a bit more solid ground and we're plan a route to the town. I think it's pretty self it's just like easy even. It's just up this road. Yes. So we just gotta get through all of this first. And then we're on to main road then. So we head down here and then this way. Just like that. Let's head that way then, and see if we can get this metal planks in one go. To the town we go. Hopefully this truck can make it through all this mud. For these roads are a bit alright. They seem to be pretty solid at the moment. Let's go get these metal planks. We have made it into town, and we are here. So, we've just got to... What's on that trailer then? I don't know. Right. Cargo management. There are a couple of ways to load, select cargo, or might loading provides a simple and fast way of loading without the use of cranes okay job done in that one metal planks and I think it was two two wooden planks so yeah we've got it all so now we've just got to uh, this plan of route um, yeah, it's just back down here, straight forward. Okay, we don't really need to plan route, so just go out of here, go left, then we go right. 
Let's head to the bridge and not crash on the way. And uh, deliver these supplies and build this bridge, shall we? Whoa! Well, I need to look where I'm going. End up breaking all my trucks by crashing into things. Where this truck is made for on the highways. Try not to go too fast though, because it can be a bit dangerous trying to control a truck and a trailer if we pick up too much speed. Right then, how are we going to get round here though? Do I just go for it, you reckon? I've kind of missed a detail now, so I've got no choice. I just have to go for it. See if we can get through it. Hopefully we can. We've got a bigger truck. That's it. Nice. Easy. Didn't even struggle one bit with that, really. I expect if we went the detour way, though, I expect that would have struggled then. We've got the bridge just up here on the left. Let's just slow down a bit. Coming into this corner too fast. Probably not crashing. Cargo management. Unload. Cool. Well, that's the main frame done. The, crit, uh, the bridge is on its way, but not there yet. To complete it, you should deliver another portion of cargo to the building site. The cargo you need is located at the lumber mill. Check the map. But I've already got the lumber, so we haven't got to go back. So that's job done for that. When you get enough experience, you'll get new driver rank. Every rank provides new options regarding vehicle and add-on purchasing. Objectives may also require you to reach a certain driver rank before they unlocked. Okay. So, let's check our profile. So, this is your driver profile. You can learn a lot of useful information about your progress here. So, we've done that. Where does it say my driver rank then? Oh, two. Driver rank two. Cool. Right then. Find the garage. Reaching garage. The garage now appears on your map. The road ahead won't be easy. You can switch at any time to a different vehicle you own in the objectives tab. Okay. So I guess it wants us to use this one again. Where have we got our garages there? Okay. So there's a watchtower there. Oh, there's an upgrade up there. Oh, that's way up in the mountains. Right, yeah, we will head back to this little guy. And we will head towards the garage, I think. It's just a plan of route. Best way back out of here. Um, I think the quickest way. Yeah, so if we go down here, along the bottom, hopefully we can get through there all right. And then we're back here. But then, can, I don't think we can go that way because that looks like a full electric pylon led on the road. So I think we're going to have to go right. But we'll, we'll see when we get there. 
All right, then. Let's head out. Right then, we have whoa rocks. Uh, we have made it back to the fork. So the garage is right anyway, but to me, it's way up there. So I guess we can't go that way because of that. So maybe we need to head to there to this watchtower, and then we can see more of the map. Then once we've discovered that watchtower, we still got a few more to discover but yeah we'll head to this one and then maybe to that one if we can and then on to the garage so let's see where this takes us looks like we're getting to pretty swampy sort of land now just trying to which is going to be the best way gotta watch as well because i got not drive too fast because it Damaged my engine to fifty percent now. Oh, so that's a watchtower down there. Let's go to the next one. Let's get around this tree. I mean, this this pickup truck's not the most capable. Yeah, that's... Do we try it? I mean, there's a few trees about. Let's whack it in low straight away. Let's try it. It's probably not the best way to get there. But we try to stay on the, the harder ground to the side of these ruts. And all this deep muddy water. Although it looks like we haven't got much choice up here. Kind of need to cross there, get to that other side. Oh, that's not good. Reverse. Oh no. I think that's it. We're stuck. We're stuck already. Um, right, winch. Um, kind of one. Obviously, if we go front right, go there, stick it in low. Just pull ourselves across. That's not very good. That's just made it worse. Um, let's try. You reckon? Go back winch onto there. Come on, we can do this. Right, there we go. Yeah, this truck is really not capable for this really we need the upgrades we need I think I might have made a mistake trying to get here come on little truck you can do it just keep it in low just keep it in this stuff where the trees are because hopefully that should be much better solid ground As soon as I get stuck again, yeah. Winch on the back again, I reckon. On the tree in front of us. That's it. Nice. There we go. Making our way to this watchtower. Come on, little truck, you can do it. Ah, it's gonna be a winch job. 
Come on. There we go. Right, just keep trucking on now. Just keep going. Don't stop. That's it. There we go. And we've made it. Nice. That is some serious swamp there. Okay. Um, I guess the only way out is back, I guess. Or not. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get back. This is a serious swamp. Whoa, careful. Whoa! Let's bring the back end round. That's it. There we go. Right. Quick before we get stuck. There we go. Right, let's get back out and get onto the main road again. And we have made it back onto the road. Right, so let's see where we've got ahead. Oh, that's that's good. I opened up a lot, that did. So, got a couple of trailers here. Oh, is that a truck as well? That's way out. And all of this swamp land, like, that was difficult getting back out of there again. I mean, I went down the same track. And there's a truck there as well. So we've got a ramped flatbed trailer and a fuel carrier trailer there. We've got a farm. Yeah, so I think we are just carrying on down this road. And uh, we'll get to the garage. It's getting pretty dark now, so I'm wondering whether to skip the night. Because then it's better to see what we're doing. So we'll do that, I think. So uh, we can skip time. Morning. There we go. That's better. Perfect. Yeah, there's a truck out there. Look, a little pickup truck in the middle of that. Do I? I want to discover these trailers quickly. So that's got a full load of stuff on it already. Nice. Ramped flatbed trailer with stuff already on it. Right then. Let's go at this other trailer. There's a fuel trailer, I think, just the other side of here as well. And then we'll head on to the garage and see what we do with the garage. Yeah, fuel trailer just here. Fuel carrier trader. Cool. So yeah, let's head to the garage and see what's next on to-do list. I was just looking and We've got another watchtower up here. So, I think it's this way. So let's climb up this hill, I think it is, mountain. And see if we can. And see if we can get this watchtower, because we need to get all these watchtowers, really. It will help us in the future. Come on. You can do it, little truck. Let's stick it in low, I think. Navigate our way up through these rocks. Come on, little truck, you can do it. Or we'll drive on. 
this gap here. There's some big roots there though. Not quite what I wanted to do, but I can't reverse in low drive, can you? Oh, don't go too far. There we go. Nice. So it's a little bit capable, this truck. Not the best, but it's just about getting there. No. That's it, come on. There we go. There we go. And then we'll get to the top of this hill and get this watchtower discovered. Nice, watchtower done. Now, how do we get down there? That's our garage, I think. Um, whoa, it's going on the camera. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's an upgrade there. Is that a new truck? we got to find. Well, that's where we got to get to. Huh. So, yeah, we turned off just there. Oh, there was an upgrade down there as well. Do I go back? Although there could be stuff up here. Oh, there's a truck there by the looks of things. But look where it is. How are you getting that one out? Um, I kind of want to go back for that upgrade, though. That looks like to be in a dodgy place as well, really. Um, now, we'll carry on. Instead of going back on ourselves, we'll carry on. Because then we'll discover this area here, at least. Um, so, yeah, we'll carry on. Try get here. I doubt we're going to be able to get that truck at the moment. And then we'll head back down this road into the garage. And uh, see what we have to do from there. So let's head further on up into this mountain. Come on, little truck, you can do it. Let's chuck it in low. Get past all these rocks. That's it. We haven't got much ground clearance, that's the problem. Come on, that's it. Nice, right, let's go. We've made it down through the mountains. So it looks to be that truck is. Oh no. Quick low. No. Ah, that tree. Come on, little truck, you can do it. Yeah, there. I don't. How? Oh no. I'm stuck. Oh, I don't want to go back. Two options. It's just that tree there. Oh, that's not good. Okay, um, go backwards a second. 
Let's see if we can get into better ground. I don't think there is any better ground. We are sinking straight away. I'm stuck. This is serious swamp. Um. Come on, just hold there for a second so we can get moving. Come on, that's it. No. As soon as you hit the water, that's it. Done for. Um, okay. I think we might have to go back the other way. I might have to turn around. Because this is just too much for this little truck to handle. And I don't want to get too far away from these trees because they're the only thing that's sort of... Oh. Okay, so I had, it in, I had it in forward then, and I was trying to winch it backwards. That didn't really work. See, so yeah, I'm just proper stuck now. That's not good. I think we're going to have to recover. Yeah. So we're way back at the start now. But we'll head straight through this time. Get the upgrade, get to there, because that's just like swamp. Right, where's the best way? Where have we even started? Oh, we're way back here. Okay, yeah. Alright, so yeah, this is the route. Probably best to take. And then we will get this upgrade if we can. And then get to here. So, yeah, we've got quite a few trailers here and another upgrade. So, let's head there then. And we have almost made it back to this upgrade that I was should have got beforehand, or could have gone and got actually, but we went and got the watchtower instead. But we are so close to it now. So let's grab this. Oh, so there's a little, nice little bridge for us here, which is good. Let's see what this upgrade is. Get upgrade. Oh, raised is available purchase. You can find upgrades in the world. They may not apply to your current vehicle, but will be useful for others. Finding an upgrade gives you a copy of it for free and unlocks it in customization store. You can check the whole list of applicable vehicles in the upgrade window. You can install upgrades in your garage. Okay. And then let's get to this garage. If we don't get stuck here now. So I think that was Ray suspension, which this little truck could do with get the body and the engine out up higher so they're less likely to get water damage let's get onto solid ground finally let's discover these trailers over here quickly and there's another upgrade there as well whoa oh I thought I've oh there we go Service trailer discovered. Cool. And flatbed trailer discovered. And then there was just an upgrade over here. So is that all of them? Yeah, so we got uh whatever this is. Our trailer store and the fuel station. Which is not here. Oh you have discovered your first garage. What you have done so far is the meat 
of this game. Explore and discover watchtowers, complete contracts to earn rewards and find garages to improve or buy new vehicles. Now let's get inside, okay. Oh, hang on a minute, I want to get this upgrade first as well. And is that another truck? Oh, nice. A Fleet Star F2070A. Get upgrade. Engage wall or drive. Not available for your current vehicle. Okay. Right. Get to the garage. Accept. This garage is used to store, upgrade, customize, buy and sell vehicles, but also for traveling to other regions. You will have to find a garage in the location to unlock it and use it. Not every location has a garage in it, so be sure to keep that in mind where your closest garage is. Okay. The engine is the heart of the vehicle. The main characteristic of the engine is power. Powerful engines will provide you with significant speed and may help with traversing tricky off-road terrain. Fuel consumption is also affected by your chosen engine more powerful engines generally consume more fuel part integrity affects how much punishment that part may take before going out of order okay so at the moment it's not great but that would be the best engine gearbox again not great that would be better raised. Okay. Tires. See, we've got highway ones on at the moment. We don't want highway. I think even if we could get all terrain. Rims and tires, okay. While rims are just for visuals, your tyres certainly are not. There are a number of tyre types that affect your grip on a variety of road surfaces and also affect the vehicle control. So mud tyres would be great for around here really. But I'm going to stick... Okay, so the moment on road excellent average off-road mud poor so that one's got average on road good off-road mud average so I think we'll go for the good mud set as opposed to good on road and good off-road although What's, oh, I think mud. We'll go for the mud ones. Yeah. So we've got mud tyres on there. Nice. Winch. Low strength winch setup is with dedicated battery unit. Not as powerful as more common variants, but can operate even when the vehicle's in engine is turned off or stalled. Okay. Right. Diff lock. Frame add-ons, roof rack, small roof rack, trunk repair supplies, snorkel would be good as well, tall mushroom, should we stick, well I'd have to stick tall mushroom on that, we haven't got any other choice. Oh we can uh, respray, side pipe thresholds, are they just, are they just visuals? Roof top. <laughs> we can put a beacon on the top. External horns. Beacon and fog lights. Roof fog lights. I kind of like that one though. That looks pretty cool. We're just going to spend all our money on this first little truck, str truck straight away. That looks. That looks cool, that one though. Out of all of them, that looks the best. So let's stick that one on. Uh, rims. 
the stickers on. They're free anyway. Rear bumper, could we get any more? No. Chrome, why would you put chrome on it? I would put those on as well, actually. Not that they do anything. Um, we've got to change the colour of the whole truck then, haven't we? So we'll go for the... Let's go for the dark blue, I think. Have we got anything else? Or is it just that? Nice. Oh, please travel to Alaska region to complete traveling to Portoil first. Okay. Truck store. This is a truck store. You can buy new vehicles here. Some vehicles are locked. Okay. Oh, uh, whoops. I'm trying to buy that one again. We've already got that one. We don't need that one. So we've got some good trucks here. Look. Loads. So what ones have we got? Scouts. Scout 800. Wow, that looks cool, that one. Right, how do we then... You don't... You don't have to complete everything in your current location before moving on to the next. Some interesting trucks... Well, resources can only be found in other locations and regions, so let's do some travelling. Prepare your truck for transportation by using the retain function. Okay. Ah, there we go. Your vehicle is now placed in the truck storage. You're now ready to travel. Go to the global map. Global map. Okay. Right. Let's... Head to Alaska. It is empty because your vehicle is still in storage. Okay. Deploy. Right then, leave garage. Welcome to Alaska. Now you know the basics of the game, it's up to you. Scout, accept contracts, upgrade, or buy new vehicles and conquer the wilderness. Completing contracts in Alaska may be tougher because of weather conditions. If you want to be more prepared, you're free to come back to Michigan and explore Alaska later. Don't forget to scout uncharted areas, discover watch towers, and run contracts from the map menu. Alright. Ha! <laughs> that looks cool, little beacons on already. It's starting to look cool though. New trailer discovered straight away. Nice. So we've got trailer store. God, this looks huge. A service hub. Do we even try it? I mean, we've got mud tires on, so we haven't really got the best tires for snow. But. We'll head out a little bit, do a little bit of exploring, and see what Alaska's all about. And uh, then maybe head back to Michigan and get better upgrades for all of our... Uh, yeah, because I'm just sliding straight away, so this is... Oh yeah, you can see it's ice. Just pure ice, this road. So we're going to have fun trying to explore here with this. So yeah, I think we're going to have to head back to Michigan in order to uh, complete some contracts, get some upgrades and actually stand within a fighting chance of being able to control our vehicle around here. So we've got a service hub here though. What's this? Whoa! <laughs> okay, I just went straight into the snow and my tyres are not good in snow clearly. Stick a wheel drive on. Cool. So this is a service hub. Okay. Can I get to this watchtower? Let's see if we can do that one and then we'll head back to Michigan. 
At least then we've got one ta one watchtower done in Alaska. But I reckon, yeah, our truck is just not capable enough for this. Because look at that, straight away, and barely any deep snow, and it just gets stuck straight away. So, where is this watchtower going to be? Down here? Yeah. think. Let's try it. We've got mud tires so we'll be alright in the mud. I hope. It's just when we get into the snow that's when we're going to start to struggle. Oh god. Got to watch for damage. Let's whack it low I think. Ah yeah watch that was just there. Is that because I'm in low or is it actually struggling? I think it is struggling already. That's what I mean, we're just just a bit of snow and it's starting to struggle. A nice little bridge for us. Nice. Bags on ice. Stuck in the mountains. Fuel station. Bags on ice. Today is not my day. First I get attacked by one by a bear while I was crossing the river and then when I escaped I realised I lost all my tools. They must be in the river. Can you go get them for me? Cement. Oh, we've got to drive all the way over to the warehouse to get them. Oh, okay, that's not happening. Right. Let's head back to the garage and head back to Michigan. Okay. Bit of steep incline there. Step. And we are back at the garage. Whoa! Coming in sideways though. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this is why... Oh man, I messed up my front bumper. Yeah, this is why I don't think... Um, how do I enter the garage? Is this one here. No, that's a trader store. Okay, there we go. Right, uh, retain. Um, global map. There we go. Right then, yeah. We'll head back to Michigan, I think. Probably the best option. Oh. There we go. Cool. Handbrake. And we've got this other truck here as well. Which is pretty good. Looks like a pretty cool truck. Well, I'm going to leave that episode there, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed the first episode of SnowRunner. More to come. Uh, next episode, I think, what we'll do is we'll discover, if we can, all of the watchtowers. And then um, we'll be able to uh, complete some more contracts, because we have a few here. So we've got farming tools, power lines, all sorts to do. But yeah, we've got plenty of things to do here. Let's see, like that truck we've created recommended. Deliver to town storage fuel carrier trailer. So we've got that. There's one here. What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, there's a fuel carrier trailer there. Drowned highway truck. Oh, that ain't happening. But yeah. So next episode, guys, we will discover the whole of the watchtowers on the map. Find some more upgrades, maybe, with our new upgraded little truck that we have. Hopefully we can uh, get better places now we've upgraded it a little bit. Work towards getting some more upgrades for it, make it a better scout for us. And then maybe when we move on to the Alaska or the other map, we should be alright. But if you did enjoy this episode, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload the next episode. Thanks, guys, for watching.